went around asking people in our community how they feel about this new requirement and learned that some businesses are requiring waivers saying that you accept the risk of catching COVID-19. And KECI 9 News reporter Kennedy Dendy is live in Eugene after speaking with community members and also a University of Oregon professor. Kennedy, how are they feeling tonight? That's right. It's been a season of changes left and right from this new mask mandate to even being required to sign a liability waiver in certain business spaces saying that you won't file a lawsuit if you catch COVID-19. And this is all brought about a lot of questions within the community about how the mask mandate will actually be enforced and also of the choice some have to make when stepping foot into a business. Now, I did speak with a law professor at the U of O today to hear her thoughts, and she says that she understands why some businesses require this, but you may want to think twice before signing, especially if your health could be at risk. One of the issues uh, legally is going to be whether someone can prove that they got COVID from the business. I actually think it's going to be easier than people think with con if contract tracing works well in Oregon. Um, I think there's also going to be a question of whether courts in Oregon are going to be willing to enforce these waivers and under what circumstances they may enforce them in some but not others. I also asked individuals about how they feel about being required to wear a face mask in indoor public spaces. And while some told me they simply won't wear one, others say they will do whatever it takes to reduce the spread of COVID-19. And I've been told by many who are out shopping today in various stores that it doesn't seem like this mask mandate is being enforced to the fullest just yet. And we'll continue providing you more information as we learn more. But reporting live in Eugene, Kennedy Dendy, KZI 9 News. Kennedy, thank you. Be sure